Well, hello, dear friends. This is Mary Beth Davis of Mary Beth Davis Via Bridge YouTube series. This is session nine, but what we're going to do is have a session nine one and a session nine two because the topic for today is angels and it's such a huge topic I can't cover it in one session. My dear friend Melanie helped me find this lovely t-shirt to go with it which says there are angels among us be one and what we'll learn is that you already are one. In fact I received a very timely text from a friend today and I have to show it to you it's, I don't know if you can see this, but it says, when angels sense you need them, and angels always do, they come unseen from everywhere to help and comfort you. If you believe in angels, can I hear an amen? Amen. Angels have been part of my life forever and ever and ever. And my latest song that actually came about angels was inspired by my three-year-old grandson in New York. And I'm gonna play it for you as an opening today. And it is also the title of this YouTube. Angels all around, angels all around. There are always angels, angels all around. Angels all around. That was from Isaac, and we were jumping on the trampoline, and we were just getting very joyous, and suddenly the song sprang out, and then he joined and sang with me with the song. So what are angels? Well, in the Bible it says they are messengers from God, and there's also a quote in Hebrews that says, we may be entertaining angels unawares, be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unaware. Again from Hebrews 13, two. And one of my favorite books, I read this when I was in grade school, was written by, I don't know if you remember, Roy Rogers and Dale Evans, the famous uh, TV show, The Western. And one of their children uh, was born with Down syndrome. And this is their journey written in 1953, and what is it called? Angel Underwear, and it is about their lovely, lovely daughter. So, I highly recommend the book. It's very old, but it's very timely indeed. So, what is my history with angels? Well, I have always, well, since my dad used to build a Christmas crib, um, he used to take balsa wood and a sheet, and he made this huge 3D scene uh, at Christmas time with twinkling lights. And in the scene, of course, were heralding angels, heralding the birth of Jesus. So that was huge. And then, as a family prayer, every night, or every day, actually, we did it twice a day, we recited a prayer called the Guardian Angel Prayer. And many of us do believe in guardian angels, there's archangels, there's all kinds of angels, but our guardian angels seem to have a really, uh, a place in our hearts where, it, where that angel can harbor and that we can call upon this guardian angel all the time. In fact, my guardian angel's name is Hortense which that's a whole nother YouTube to talk about that. So we would say this prayer and the prayer goes like this. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light, to guard, to rule, to guide, amen. So that was instilled in me from childhood. And in fact, when I made my first communion when I was seven years old, I was allowed, well, we picked out a prayer book and a rosary and a purse, and there were various choices. And the one that I picked, and I'm not sure how well you can see this, but it's an angel, or what I thought of at that time was an angel watching over me 
at the altar. And so I had this book and I've kept it all these years. It's a little worn, you can see. And what is on page 13, but the angel of God prayer, because this is full of little prayers that are appropriate for children. So I've had this book for many, 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 many years. In the early life, I saw angels as outside and I asked them to come into my heart. I asked them to come to me. But now I know they are actually inside of us. They live in that depth of our heart. If we take in a deep breath and imagine it going into the, um, the well of our soul, the deepest part of our soul, where we were created, it's, it's infinite, the depths of that beautiful heart. And God created us all with a perfect, original blessing. We are precious indeed. And the angels are here to minister to us, and they also live in us. We become the angels, as it says on this t-shirt, so that we can minister to each other. The angels are part of that I am presence, that place where God does live within each and every one of us. And all we need to do, as the Bible says, is be still and know that. And if we spend some quiet day, time every day, maybe in the morning, in the evening, or whenever we can carve it out and simply breathe in through our heart and feel that point, um, it's actually called a pristine template of creation by a beautiful woman who's an MD who wrote a book called Your Pristine Blueprint, The Blueprint of Your Soul. Beautiful, beautiful woman and beautiful, beautiful book. So I am that I am. God told us that. And that I am lies in each and every one of us. So at nighttime with my grandchildren in Washington, D.C., I would sing a song called Angels Watching Over Me. I'm going to play that for you. It's actually an old campfire song. You will have sung it at, at camps, at gatherings for children, and I would say, let's sing it with adults as well. See. All day, all night, angels watching over me, my Lord. All day, all night, angels are watching over me. Every night before I sleep, oh Lord, the angels are watching over me, my Lord. Pray the Lord, my soul. great lullaby as well. It nods them straight off to sleep. A few years ago, a melody came to me to that guardian angel song that I recited earlier. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day and night be at my side to light, to guard, to rule, to guide. Amen. And now we're going to enjoy a recording of that song. And that, we are looking at the end of session one, our ninth session, session one, angels. Blessings, love, and angels all around each and every one of you.
Today I am recording the song, Angel of God, My Guardian Dear. The words come from a childhood prayer that was prayed every day with my family at breakfast. To lie to God 